Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you get ruthlessly penetrated by trains flying up from hell. <laughs> it's turbo dismount! I have found possibly one of the most phallic and ridiculous levels of all time, only beaten by a level that I will save until later that is even more ridiculous. So as the pulsing saints of the trains of hell rise up from the underworld, you have to fall without hitting any of them. Maybe it's just me. But I feel like doing this in a normal vehicle is probably impossible. Nicholas Rage though is up for the task. Let's freaking do this! I'll full speed too, if I'm gonna get penetrated. Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. As long as I can kind of time the very first penetration, I think we'll be all right. You really need to understand just how far you have to fall to. Cool clean 13 million points. Seems legit. Okay. Whenever I do something particularly stupid, I always like to try and shove my ass inside of a shopping cart. I'm not talking about in the game, I'm talking about in real life. Don't you sit there and tell me I'm the only schmuck that's ridden a shopping cart down a hill. Here we go. Now, I have a couple of other plans for this. I don't know if you're allowed to just fly through all of the... Mm fly through all of the death, like over here to the side or something. It doesn't look like you are though. It looks like you're caged into staying within the sadness. Okay, so the Shuriken really came out of nowhere last time with the big win. So I'm gonna see, maybe I could just jump past all the trains. Maybe I just don't have to deal with them. There we are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not really sure exactly where things went wrong. It's like this is a farther jump than I had previously anticipated. Okay, maybe if I go like not quite as fast. Maybe the maybe the idea is not to go that far. Jesus. How the hell are you supposed to make it through this damn <laughs> motorcycle just got incinerated? Look at the insanity as they all start just compounding and falling on top of one another. It's rain and trains. Okay, obviously the Shuriken's parents were disappointed in it for a reason. How about the Tumblr? In this instance, the Tumblr's a lot like the Shuriken. The only difference is that it's like not quite as long. I need to start going. I. I need to stop going fast. It's proving to be really bad for Nicholas's health. Ugh. Maybe it's the pose. Ah, here we are. The old ass jiggle. I feel like if, if ever there were a particular way for us to, you know, not be pulverized. Well, that wasn't it. God, can I put like an obstacle down or something? Oh, you sure can. All right, hold on. Let me just, uh... <laughs> you never know, okay? All right, with the ultra ass turbo boosts, yes. Yeah, no. It would, it just kind of, it didn't hit me that hard. It just kind of uh, vigorously rubbed me. Like an exfoliation, if you will. I'm trying to get to maximum speed just to... <laughs> maximum speed didn't work as well as I hoped it would have. Oh, I was almost there. No, look at it, it was right at the top of the board. Damn it. Yeah, that's it, Nick. Just relax on pink lightning. Now, to be fair, I've used pink lightning like twice and both times it's one. So I have a good, I have a good feeling about this one here. Oh yeah, my feeling, okay, my feeling is a lot less good now because I got decapitated. I usually don't start off with boards quite this stupid, but since, since like we're working up to something really ridiculous, this is not working. I figured what the hell. All right, let's, uh, let's try and half-ass this. If I go like half as fast, I won't get, you know. So it just hit the bike. Are we counting that? Yeah, I'm gonna count that. I gotta, I can't touch any of these. Not like it mattered in any way to God. All right, you know what? These obstacles aren't doing me any favors. Get Dill out of here. Okay, I just want to give it a shot with no obstacles, and then I'm going to shove my ass inside of a shopping cart. Because typically, whenever I... Yeah, we're, we're doing... I got I to gotta try something else here, man. All I'm doing is giving myself a headache by smashing my head against the wall. And ass! I typically try and go as slow as possible in this cart. So this time I'm gonna try and go fast. There seems to be a larger pocket on this side than when you, oh my God. Oh, oh, yes, yes. It's incredible. <laughs> the shopping cart is the game. <laughs> and there you have it. Okay. <laughs> I need to know exactly how close I got to having my body teleported through the atmosphere at light speed. Oh yeah, we went straight for it too. Look at this. 
damn near got a crew cut right there. And then right through every single penetrative train to the ground. This is called the wall of trains. I think you understand why. Now, to be fair, this does look impossible, but I think I know of a way to get through this. Obviously, I'm going to... <laughs> I might as well be getting the stupid way first. Come on, baby. I know you let me down last time, but uh, this is it. This is your redemption, pink lightning. <laughs> go get it. Maybe I can go under the trains. <laughs> Going under the trains did not turn out well. Okay, now do I get do I get any kind of obstacles here? Oh yeah. Are you allowed to just go over the trains? Shuriken, I swear to God, if you can't even do this right, you're out of the family. Okay, that is a long jump. That's a lot longer than I anticipated. Okay, um, really, I'm really having to think about this one. Turbo pads. Whenever you have problems succeeding in life, just do whatever you were doing a lot faster. This is not gonna work with the Shuriken. All right, whenever I need to fly, the X-Wing flyer is so ridiculous in its coasting ability. Oh, shit. Oh, there's only manual steering. All right, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, I'm still, I'm still going. Wait, I've shot them all. No. I mean, it's basically the lowest car to the ground. If I was gonna have an op, if I was gonna have an opportunity, first I have to not suck. Well, <laughs> this is the closest I came. Okay, here's the, here's my other idea. All turbo pads. When in doubt, just blow the shit up. Now with this, if I get, oh my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ, come on. This is not working out as I had hoped it would. Okay, there we go. Yeah? That... There we go! Okay, now I just need to not get destroyed by the trains. Okay. God, this thing drives like a freaking washing machine on cocaine. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Don't run out of time. Make it to the back wall. I'm pretty sure we got this. This was the way to go. Oh. Oh. Yeah! I know I did this like the very, very long and arduous way, but listen, it worked all right. And that right here was the key shot. Not a day of turbo dismount until I try to not get skinned alive. Welcome to the crusher. So basically in your attempt to get through this without getting touched, your trophy, if you will, for not having your entire body circumcised by vehicles is to blow up on these mines. I do appreciate that there's a defined finish line to actually shoot for. Typically I found with these levels at this point, it's like the slower, the better. The only problem is the creator of this put this friggin' hill in, which always turns into a giant pain in the ass because you can't screw the system as easily. See, I could try and go super slow, but the problem is you start rolling down the hill and picking up a ton of completely unwanted speed. All right. Oh my God. Okay, well I did end up getting plowed from behind. Look, I know it sounds bad, but it's just part of turbo dismount, man. Okay, I'm gonna try speed just because it could be the key to success. The shuriken, the failure of all, the failure of all things turbo dismount once again shows why it's the redhead stepchild. Poor Shuriken, it's like, I have a soul. All right, obviously, uh, I I'm pretty sure the one time I did manage to do something on this, on God damn it. The one time I did manage to do something on this thing, I was, I was in this position right here. I swear to God, don't screw this up, Nick. If you can't even drive the Shuriken while doing a handstand, you're out of the family. Good, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, he's got one arm left. Okay, I'm trying to get through this, but all I'm really doing is giving people an anatomy lesson. We're doing the boss throne. Oh yeah, I didn't think it could stick the landing, but it totally can. It's probably gonna trip on the... F oh yes! Oh my God! Oh, oh, the chosen one, no! <laughs> I call this position air wiener, okay? This is always done pretty... I was gonna say it's done pretty well. Oh my God. Anyone else? Go ahead, I'm not... There's still a little bit left. No, we're done? It's a wee bit drafty, he says. You got this. Oh my God, yes. Oh, it's perfect. This is the, <laughs> no, come on, man. I can't even get to the halfway point. This is worse than the slice and dice because of this damn hill. The other problem is there's usually like a, a slight, it takes a little bit for all the vehicles to get up to their, their highest speed. So sometimes you get a couple of seconds while they're still moving slowly to get through the first few levels. All right, the skateboard is pretty thin. I don't know 
I don't know what sort of benefit that has for us, to be quite honest with you. I'm just, I'm just, tr I'm grasping the straws here. Oh my God, lands it! Okay, my, my knee is penetrating the skateboard, but that did look like a, a, a real land. All right, I'm trying the super slow method here. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, I gotta go a little bit faster than this. It's possible this is too fast. I really don't know. I'm trying to... Yeah, that didn't work. Well, I mean, if, if the definition of working is fracturing your pelvis while doing the downward dog on a skateboard, then I guess it did work. Yoga! All right, man. This is our grand champion for the day. Shopping cart down a hill. This, this is bringing back childhood memories and trauma all at once. Oh. Oh, leave my organs alone, you bastards! My shopping cart is literally stuck inside of the vehicle. That's pretty legit. Okay, I've actually got it going as slowly as... <laughs> God damn it. Hold on, we're... It's... it's still going. Does this count? When it gets to the ground, it may actually flip back on its wheels. Jesus. Well, I made it to the end after I got double penetrated by trains. Oh. Through sheer determination and a complete lack of respect for Nicholas Rage. One way or another, we're going to beat this friggin' board! Oh, there's a way! Oh, there's a way! No! I got to the third to last lane! On the pink cycle! Okay, full speed! I got it! Come on, pink lightning, you can do this, brother. Yes. Go. Move your little pedals. Full flip! Ah. This level may very well be impossible. I feel like if I was going slightly faster on this thing, hold on, try one turbo pad. 92 kilometers per hour on a tricycle. You know what? All the turbo pads. 115 kilometers per hour. Oh no, damn it. Turbo cycle. Okay, full speed, all the turbo pads. If ever there was a chance for us to possibly make this. This was not it. Shopping cart, turbo pads. Okay. Don't mind me. My boobs were just stuck inside of the snow plow of the vehicle. Pretty typical day on the channel. Shopping cart speed. Did absolutely nothing. <gasps> Damn it, I got separated from the board, but that wasn't that bad. All right, maximum inappropriateness for the pose. Trying it with all my weight forward. If I don't break my knees. <laughs> How come my body got evaporated, but the skateboard is fine. Wait, maybe that's the key. Maybe I can go underneath the cars. Ah! Look, this seemed like a good idea at the time. It's technically the thinnest vehicle I have. Like, thinnest this way. Nick, tell me where it hurts. He's like everywhere. Rocket scooter. <laughs> All right, well, you go without me. <laughs> there we go. Uh-huh. Okay. I mean, the scooter got taken out. Technically, I live to like the third row. Hell yes. Hell yes! Yes! Oh my god! Finally, the scooter! Got the dark horse! In what only cost me a bunch of time and Nicholas Rage's body parts, look at this insanity. Oh yeah, one-handing it. Look at this. Giving the, the middle finger to the plow behind him. That is how close you have to cut this in order to make it work. Basically, the distance of not being hit is exactly the size of the scooter. And so, all the way at the end, he makes it to the glorious mines. Now, for the final challenge. I told you it was gonna be particularly stupid. You have to make it through this and somehow clear yourself so that you can hit the ground without being touched. The scooter did so well to start off with that I'm just gonna give it a shot. See, the issue is the second something gets hit, the game basically breaks. You can't use anything that's even remotely large here, like nothing vehicle sized here, watch. Just giving it a shot, right? What could go wrong? Your GPU could kill you while you sleep. I figure I would give Pink Lightning a shot just because you never know. Going in the center, I need to stop this. Yeah, there's no way in hell. All right, full speed. We're gonna make a, uh, a hard right here. Maybe there's a pocket. There we go. There we go. A pocket on the right. Oh my God. Okay, maybe, a <laughs> maybe I should bank a little bit earlier. There we go. All right, dump it. Nice. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh no. I mean, I can I can go like all the way over to the edge. Actually, I may even be able to. <laughs> We're not. It's a tricycle, Nick. How could you screw this up? We tried the right a bunch. I don't know. Maybe the maybe the left is slightly better. I feel like it's kind of like equal. The pain the pain happens from all directions on this board. God, it's like it's like vertical Frogger. The only difference is that instead of trying to win, I'm just trying to say hello to my my relative, the devil. All right, boss throne. All right, I'm gonna try and dump this again. Oh yeah. See, when you dump the boss throne like that, ouch. It seems that you fall a lot faster than if you just let it go. You know what, screw this. I'm gonna get my points or the game's gonna crash. Yeah, the game's just gonna crash. This is, this is ridiculous. This might be a terrible idea, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. It was a terrible idea. Do that yoga, Nick. Yes. Clearly, yoga is the key to a long life. <laughs> I got shot out of the board. Holy Jesus. So you are allowed to manually steer this. I'm gonna like try and just, one of these corners has to be the key. Like if you, if you go to one of the, problem is you fly off the friggin' edge. They made this in such a way. Usually I try and screw these levels over by going super slow. But since there's a, like a downward area, you have to gain at least a little bit of speed. So I'm gonna try and dump it just before. Here, there we go. Okay, this could be it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Winning! I like how my disembodied arm is waving. It's like, hey everyone, it's dabbing on haters, see? And with the majestic dodge of the ages, Nicholas Rage finds the pocket and finally makes it to hell. Anyway, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Turbo Dismount. Till next time, <laughs> stay foxy and much love.